Bell's hairstyles, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to do these faux fishtail side braids. So I love wearing these obviously with hats. So in the winter time that means a fluffy beanie, or it can mean something like this, or it can mean a cute fedora, whatever I'm feeling like. In the summertime it means a darling ball cap. This hairstyle is a great way to make it look like you actually tried when you really didn't, which is why I love it. So before we get onto the hairstyle, you guys, if you're not already following along, Brooklyn and Bailey have a website where they sell their mascara, their scrunchies, and then recently for the holidays we brought in makeup bags, we brought in some darling hats. We have so much good merchandise. If you haven't already checked it out, be sure to do that. And with the holidays coming up in the month of December, we have all kinds of great deals. We're doing 12 days of Christmas. So there's so many fun things going on. You can text BB Squad to 555-888 and that will send you text reminders with all the coupon codes or you can click the link in the description box or you can click the I button up there to see what it's all about. But be sure to come along, it's a lot of fun and let's get on to the hairstyle. Okay you guys, so I wore this hairstyle a couple weeks ago in an Instagram story that I filmed and I got a bazillion questions about what I had done with my hair. So I'm gonna show you, I've divided my hair just into two sections. I've kind of flipped them both over my shoulders. And I'm gonna start with this right side. I'm just gonna pick up two outside pieces like this. I'm gonna pull them to the front and I'm just gonna take an elastic and secure them with an elastic. And you can see I'm starting pretty far down my hair. Like I'm starting right about my chin level. Like I don't want it too far up because that's where the hat's gonna sit and then it would just look funny. When you have that secured with the elastic, then you find that little middle and you're just gonna flip it inside out. So you're basically gonna topsy tail it right without the topsy tail, just flipping it. And then hold on to it and well I tighten it up just a smidge but then you just kind of pull and loosen a little bit. You don't want it to look too tight. You can just do a little for now and we can go back and refluff later. So that's how the first one's gonna lay. Then you're gonna reach to the sides again, pick up sections of hair again and cross them over the top. Take just a little bit more right here and grab another elastic and repeat the same process. So I'm just putting the elastic on. You can see I went down a couple inches. Find that little center, flip it. And then we don't want it to look that tight, see? So you gotta go back and kind of tweak and pull and fluff so that they look like they're merging more together. Then repeat again. Grab sections of hair. And there's no rhyme or reason to this, like sections of hair. This is kind of one of those where it's, it's hard to mess it up too bad because it's just sort of like, you just do it by visual and by feel. And then again, flip it through. Fix anything that doesn't look right, tighten it up fluff it, and I go back and fluff a bunch more at the end, so don't worry about how it looks right now. This process is so easy. It's totally on the front side of your face, so it's super, super easy to do on yourself. Like even younger girls learning how to do hair should be able to do this one. So, like this. So at this point, you can see like everything's been banded at least once. So now we're just gonna do a round again and just continue this on, but you're using hair that's already been banded up above, which is totally fine. So we're just gonna continue this on until we run out of hair. And this will be my last one. One more time. Flip it through. And then I'll just secure all of the ends together with another elastic. And then you just go back and pull and tweak. And I try to pull and fluff enough that I hide the elastics. And this is literally just kind of like a to taste. If you, if you like it tight like this, just leave it like this. If you like it looser, then you just go back and pull. And I make sure like some pieces stand out more than others because I want mine to sort of look messy and not like uniform. And you can pull the whole thing apart like this and really fluff it up and make it look great. So it just depends on what look you're going for at this point. And you just kind of mess with it, play with it to taste. Then you're gonna repeat this on this side. And you guys, if you don't wanna use clear elastics like I'm using, because they show a little more in dark hair, then you can totally use black elastics or 
anything that you feel comfortable with. Now I'm just gonna finish by tweaking and pulling and fluffing this side and we'll be ready to go. When you finish both sides of your hair, both braids and you like them, I am gonna give you one little tip maybe and trick. So you can pull and really tug and make them really super full and beautiful to begin with, but over the course of the day I feel like they tend to loosen and so then by the end they may look a little scraggly. So sometimes I like to pull and tweak just enough for them to look fluffy but not too too much and then I know that throughout the day they're just gonna get bigger and more full and look even better so when I get to this point looks kind of funny like this part of my hair looks funny right now to me like I would never go out wearing it just like this but as soon as you add a hat this is when it like totally goes next level so you add a cute hat like this and just that little fluff right here and then the braids goes so much cuter or if you don't want to wear like a hat like that, then you can wear like a cute winter cap, stocking cap, like this, and they look cute underneath too, or any of the above. So I love doing stuff like this, throwing on a hat, I'm ready to go, the hairdo didn't take very long, so it's quick and easy, and I didn't have to wash, dry, or curl my hair that morning. Okay you guys, so this is the final look. You end up with two braids, so cute. Perfect for hat hair days or baseball cap days in the summer, I suppose. And yeah, there you go. Now, if you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, be sure to do that by clicking the button down below, the flower. If you guys wanna see other videos, be sure to click the box over there. And don't forget that you can check out Brooklyn and Bailey's merch. All of the sales are coming up for the holidays, so be sure to follow along by clicking the button right here. And we will see you guys later. Bye, guys.